Hey guys, welcome back to some more Factorio. Um, so, I have removed the old train line. It used to be like right here. I just completely removed it. There's like two boxes full of just barrels. I have no idea what to do with them. Um, because of the way fluid dynamics works now, I just, I, I, I'm at a loss. Maybe at some point I'll use them, but uh, barrels suck now. Uh, barreling anything sucks. You might as well just use the train thing. I don't, I don't know what to do with that. Alright, so yeah, so we have two things full of barrels. Um, our oil is now at a yield of uh, 1100, so that's interesting. Uh, so we have now a copper stop and two iron stops, which feed into this many furnace lines. And there's obviously a bit of stone here too. Uh, so the stone is like not even being used at this point. Uh, we just have, we don't need this much stone really. I also probably should put the stone going down, but you know. I didn't do that, so uh, deal with it. All right, so that's how that's going right now. Uh, so, uh, right, so the way I worked it out, so I made the iron come all the way here, uh, and it comes to here, which is a balancer. So even if one or two lines didn't get, uh, doesn't get iron at some point, uh, it still makes sure every part of the factory gets a bit of iron, and that means we also have red belts now. So we our factory actually can't support this much. Um, iron right now ironically and I also upgraded our iron gear sort of so we've removed all of the remainder of the furnaces because we don't need them anymore uh, they're completely gone uh, that's the, another thing we did uh, and I think it's pretty much it with that uh, but I in uh, what the other thing I did do was I did set up this um, iron base here uh, it has two trains going to it and I and I now just have like a uniform just like Four boxes for everything. I don't, I don't know. I just I just decided to do that. So this has um, yeah. So it doesn't even fill it up all the way because that's the way. That's just the way it kind of works. Uh, and oh yeah, I've been doing lazy turret speed upgrades. And also, also I finished the um, the bot speed. So I'll t I'll show you how fast we're now. Uh, where's my bots though? Where are my bots? Yeah, there's. Uh, so okay. So just showing you the tech tree for this. Um, so a lot of this stuff is like logistics related crap, which, uh, we'll see what it is later. Um, we want a personal report too at some point, but, uh, so I did robot worker speed three and four. So three, I think I, I had it when I was still recording. I forget it was like yesterday. And now this one is 55, which would required a thousand to do. So if I actually do that now. Uh, if I actually like play something, let's say the turrets, look how fast they are. Pretty good. Pretty good shit. They're very fast now. Um, so that's that, how that works. Um, and also I made this copper now a proper thing. So, by the way, in case you're wondering why, as I said, if you still don't really understand why I have the trains at the beginning, it's because this train here is on a diagonal turn. Which makes my outpost more compact, which means, yeah. Because they're actually, the trains are not required for anything other than kind of being there. And I know it looks stupid, but I don't know, blame the devs. Like, why can't I put uh, a stop on the on the curve? I, I want to put one on the curve. I mean, I, 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 I'm going to assume technical and art reasons because the way these work. But as it stands, like, logistically, I don't see why having them in the front is ever a good idea, actually, because it, it doesn't affect the speed or anything as far as I know. Uh, I mean, I know they may appear slower, but that's because uh, the other trains you saw me using were much smaller. So I'm actually using pretty much, I think, what is a good size, the, the best size for trains. And yeah, so uranium's still going. Uh, yeah, so we got a shit ton of ovens and stuff. Uh, just try to see if I changed anything else. I don't think I really did. Um... I don't know if I if if you see something and 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 whatever you can point it out and tell me, but yeah, I, I think we're Gucci. So um, with that being said, uh, we have a bit of an issue here. So remember, uh, there was one guy that was basically like, "Oh hey Mike, uh, why don't you run electric furnaces off of your steam powered uh, grid?" Well, I told him that. I mean, the power requirements were enormous. First off, second off, it just like it didn't really. Uh, save on coal or anything, but going back to the power requirements are enormous. Let me look at our power grid um, This is it So just to let you guys know um, We are only capable of generating 
140 megawatts. I know it looks I know it looks here like it's it's like a lot more than that, but given the ratio I've chosen, we can only actually make 140. So the 20 megawatts is actually going into the steam turbines. I'm sorry, the the steam uh, the steam pipes here, uh, the steam storage tanks. So right as of right now, we're actually right on the cusp of what we're actually able to generate in terms of power. Uh, we can't actually make any more than this. And it's because these electric furnaces, I have 260 of them, apparently. I, I, do I really have 260 of them? I guess I do, because this is like... Uh, this is 20, 40, 80. Yeah, I have 260 furnaces right here. Fucking hell. Yeah, so I have a lot of furnaces. Um, but this is kind of just needed. But this is how this is how in Factorio, like, your, your scaling kind of works. So that uses uh, 34 megawatts right there, which is like, I don't know, a lot. Uh, and the laser turrets, wherever they are, yeah, they're firing right now, so they've gone up a little bit. Uh, and then they're going to recharge and then settle down again. So yeah, the, 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 the turret's idle draw is like 20 megawatts right now. Um, so yeah, and apparently my apparently I'm not doing science right now. Oh yeah, I just finished laser turret speed three. So the last upgrade I have with turret damage requires uh, uh, yellow science, and I might as well just get more damage. Like there's there's actually no reason for me not to. Either that or I go for red chips. But I think we're gonna have I think we're gonna have enough time. So the biggest um, the biggest problem in our factory right now is actually uh, getting enough steel. Um, because these furnaces uh, no longer do it. I, I kept these ones uh, because I did say I was gonna we were gonna upgrade it together. Um, you know, got to do some video content. But like as I said, a lot of what I just did in like the last hour or two was just cleaning up the old shit that I had. Like it's just having the bots do it. And to be honest, though, you what I should do. I should just make another personal role port. I I don't know why I've never done that. I've always always I've always I've always just made one. But like the more I think about it, the more it kind of just makes sense to actually make a little bit more than just one. Uh, how many more? I need a shit ton of batteries. So, um, yeah. So this is kind of the plan right now. So I would like to make an additional road port, as well as the fact that I want to. So this copper right here is going to be kind of our end goal. I, I think I may be stopped for this one as well, but. Uh, this copper is kind of our end goal here. We kind of need more copper. The amount of iron we have is pro probably just perfect. And the minute we start running out, then we can start going towards some other iron deposits. Uh, these ones are kind of crappy, though. And these ones are not that great either. I'm hoping that if I go tunnel up to the copper, I'll see more up here. And then maybe there'll be something really nice over there, too. But I don't know. Anyways, um, but that's, that's, that's for long term. So... This is all the like this is all the steel furnaces I had, not including uh, the ones that you haven't seen me pick up yet. So uh, that's a that's an issue. And one second, I have in in my my browser I have uh, additional nuclear ratios because reasons. Um, so I have basically just decided that uh, we're going we're going to knock it up to four reactors now. Um, uh, there, there's actually, there's no way for me to do this any other way, because, as I said, this is actually, sorry, it's not 140 megawatts this makes, this makes 160 megawatts, um, I, I was wrong, so 160 is what this uh, factory is capable of, the minute I start plugging in some more electric furnaces, the minute I start tunneling to, let's say, the copper ore or something, which we need the copper to basically do some other stuff, because this copper is not going to last me forever, in fact, it's going to start dwindling very soon. So, yeah, the minute I start doing that, um, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's basically going to be a problem. Uh, like, for power. I don't want to concern myself with power at all. Uh, I don't want it to be an issue. So the way we don't make it an issue is, uh, simply put, we, we upgrade everything. So let me, fir first off, let me, uh, let me see if I can make more space for this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this in. We're gonna take one of the batteries out. And then I'm gonna put the last robot port in. So we now have a robot limit of 20. How many robots do I actually have? Um, we have 18. We can make more, but it will just take a while because robot flying frames take like bloody, bloody ages, but that's okay. Because we got nothing else to do right now. 
So I've just decided we're upgrading our power supplies because, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. If we look at our uranium-235, we actually have like two stacks of this shit, so we're not exactly running low. And it, there's 46 in the fucking, like, thing here to begin with. Also, I don't know how this got in here. I don't know. I should probably sushi belt this. I know I have a box full of these inserters, but fuck, really? Whatever, I'll make it at the end. Except I'll forget at the end, so we gotta put it a little bit further up. Alright. Let me put... You are just gonna grab this shit uranium. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fucking done already. That is insane. We have so much uranium. Yeah. We have a lot of shitty uranium, guys. Oh, we need more steel plates. Steel is a problem for this factory. Yeah, so this box is almost full. Fucking hell. That's life. Anyways, alright, so let's go spin up some more reactors. So I, I was apparently much better at producing this than I thought I was. Nope. Oh. You know, just make like two iron chests, fuck it. So we just need more fucking stuff now. But that's fine, because we have like, as I said, we have like a box full of Uranium-235, so... Eventually we can use that for Corvax Enrichment, uh, or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know what it's called. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Take this off the line. I, by the way, I've already crafted all the things that we need for this, so... Um, I, I have skipped uh, an important process for you here. Alright, let's, um, let's just uh, make sure I get these right. Yeah, so we're going to do something like this. So we're mirroring it, obviously. Alright, let me go make sure I have... I'm just going to put this all down the line so it's not putting more down than it needs to. There you go. Okay. Uh, we'll just kind of copy roughly what I did. So we're gonna duplicate most of this, because it was a good layout. Alright, and let me just put down the re remainder of this. Alright, so the sushi belt therefore continues. Um, and we're gonna spin up these reactors now, I think. Because uh, we kind of need them. Uh, how many heat pipes do I have? I probably don't actually have enough. It just occurred to me. No, I really don't actually. Okay, so I may have lied. I may not have actually made everything I needed, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, I, I'll just spin up the reactors while we go get some more shit for that. Um, and I probably don't have enough piping materials. No, I don't have that either actually. So Okay, we, we double lied. Uh, this is a disaster of an LP. I'm, I'm restarting it. No. I'm joking. Uh, fucking just requires steel plates. Steel plates, by the way, is the limiting factor, but like I said, I kind of need to upgrade our capacity for um, for energy first, because if we start running... Like, I'm looking at these steam... I, I'm judging it kind of based upon these steam things, and they're constantly at like 23, which kind of tells me that we're kind of right on the edge of what we're capable of doing. Like I said, you cannot judge it by... Um, it's deceiving the pa the production because the production assumes that they're all running at the same time and I have like I have 20 uh, turbines that aren't actually supposed to run off of anything special so uh, we can't actually we can't depend upon that at all all right so uh, we need more copper plates now we're gonna need a lot of uh, we're gonna need a lot of this crap actually. So I'm just going to just keep eating it all. I mean, what would be smart is I, if I made like a box for this shit and then like, you know, stuff instead of just like eating it off the line constantly. But I'm not a smart man. I'm quite dumb actually. Yeah, there you go. It's already going like, hey. Especially because I have like gears and apparently a lot of iron plates. So I just want to get rid of these. Where can I put them? Oh, right into the gears. So yeah, this is like the first time where we have actually seen the gears kind of like where they're supposed to be. I don't know why. Oh, I red belted this so this would be able to kind of 
go as fast as it needs to. All right, let's just eat the rest of this. There you go. Uh, yeah, we got some apparently uranium two thirty eight again. Maybe I'll get like two more steel chests as well. Now, I've, I, as I said, I already made the, the steam turbines and everything like that, so we don't have to worry too much about that. We're good. Uh, let me just put some of this crap away. So yeah, we're down to one battery, but that's that's okay. Because to be honest, I I'm, I I've been picking up the drone the the construction robots anyways, so it's not like it's a big it's not like it's a big game changer what I've done here. All right, so. Reactors are spinning up. Um, so now they get neighbor bonuses again. Uh, do I need more of this stuff? I, I hopefully don't. Okay, so what we're gonna aim to do is we're gonna aim to just copy the other side. So let me get, what is this? What kind of chest is that? I just put an iron, yeah, it's a steel chest. Of course it's a steel chest. Fuck it, we can just use iron chests. Like it, there's a, it has a lot of capacity for used of uh, uranium cells, but you can tell how long the factory has kind of been going while I've been upgrading everything. So, so we're gonna go upgrade all this. All right, so one, two, three. So I kind of did set it up. Uh, I think I have four here. All right, let's just make sure that I have this working. So I'm gonna place everything first. All right, that's four. I think I can put like three more down here, down here. Something about that type. Uh, here's the thing, we can actually hook those up in terms of water supplies. All right, so how many more heat exchangers do we have? We have four more. How many do I have running right now? The hell, that does not feel right. I'm supposed to have 28 heat exchangers. I may have not made enough of those either. Okay, I, I feel like I have not made enough. So this is 8, 16, um... Oh, no, we don't need 28, we need 48. Whoops, I need 20 more. Because this, uh, this is 28, I think. So 8, 16, uh... 24 and 28. Yeah, I actually did it correctly. Uh, but I looked at the I looked at the chart wrong. Whoops. All right, this is when we uh, find someone to blame. Yeah, this requires a fair bit of steel plates. So you know what we're gonna do? Um, I'm just gonna eat off the line here. Cause I, I mean I know the rest of the factory kind of needs this stuff for like research and stuff. By the way. Uh, Production science, huge steel hog, huge steel hog. This is when my this is when my uh, issues with steel began to actually come into like fruition. That I kind of realized that I had issues with steel. But yeah, let me make the rest of this and then uh, we'll resume. All right, I'm gonna just leave a stack there just for later, potentially. Um, still need maybe a little bit more steel than this. Just gonna just eat it off here. Fuck. Whatever. Fuck you too, game. All right. If I can find some more, I'll take some more, but yeah. Alright, so we're trying to just make some kind of symmetry going on. That's why you see me doing what I'm doing. Uh, I like symmetry. Say, good times. Alright, so we got uh, heat exchangers now. For what we're going to do, and we're trying to just kind of remake this uh, as nice as possible. Uh, Alright, so what do I do? I kind of like, yeah, I kind of made it just loop around this thing easy so the by the way it it does work based upon the further away you get from the reactor in terms of uh, heat pipes the less heat you're transferring so all right so now on this side let's get the let's get the heat exchanger so we have 16 left we have to figure out a way to get four of them going one two three four is that it is that all we need to do yeah, I think so yeah okay that that will do it uh, unfortunately there's steam coming in this one, but we can just kind of resort, reorder that actually a little bit. Alright, and so, and then the way I have the, um, these steam turbines working is that they all work uh, based upon the same ones, so, uh, yeah, it's easy. 
So we need to bring in water. We need to bring in some more water. Uh, okay, so the way now the way I'm going to do this last part is I'm going to actually for the water I'm going to actually have them all interconnected. Uh, I don't see a reason not to interconnect them. Um, and then there's just gonna be another offshore pump, which I move slightly further down, as you can see. Um, so we're gonna just have a pipe come here. Uh, I guess we'll just like do something like this. And yeah, I, I, I can see that there's a thing here. Uh, so I'll just bring it on this side, I don't care. I want it to look like uh, uniform. So yeah, steam is kind of, uh, having enough water is important because obviously when it gets to some of those higher capacities, then like it'll, it'll be like, oh, I don't have enough juice. So we cannot have that. All right. We'll do something probably like this. The thing is, the further away you bring it, the worse off you might be, so I have to be careful. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully nothing's, like, completely disastrous here. So, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and bring this to the bottom part, right? There you go. And we're gonna do the same over here. Not, probably not a good idea to mix steam and water. They're very two very different fluids. All right, let me put these up here. Uh, as I said, I want to interconnect them as much as humanly possible. But oh, here we go. Okay, that one's fine. All right. Uh, I forget. Did I want to move it up or did I want to move it back? I want to move it back. Are these connected? Yes, they are. Uh, what was this even for? Oh, this is the same thing. Alright, that, that works out. Kind of. Actually, no, it doesn't. I just realized that was hooked into the same one. Alright, so if we have three hooked up to all these boilers... Ignore what I just did. Alright. Alright, they look like they're all connected, and it looks like that they should all have their own... It should be enough water at this point for this stuff. Alright, so now we just kind of work on uh, these steam engines like here. Uh, so we can remove some of these. Actually, all of them. So Okay, now we have 20 bots going. That's nice. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have enough power, but that's okay. It'll, it'll just deal with it. As long as we haven't cut off power to the entire base, then we're good. Which I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm so confident we haven't done that, I'm not even gonna check. Alright, so now we're gonna upgrade our power capacity. Like such. And add lights and flashy crap. Alright, so that looks kind of nice. So, let's see, what's our power looking like now? So, okay, it's looking pretty good. We have 55 steam turbines on right now. By the way, the end result is gonna be 83 steam turbines. Um, and apparently you cannot walk through nuclear reactors, so go figure. So, luckily we do have a lot of uranium, so that's also very nice. Uh, is there, oh, I didn't do anything like that. Okay, I was wondering if I did anything weird. All right, so same deal here. Same deal. Even with the pretty lights and everything, so it's so it's all flashy. We we're gonna have the prettiest nuclear uh, reactors on the planet. That's why the biters attack us. They're jealous. All right. So this now gives us 62 steam engines. We're gonna remove these. All right, let's see what this ends up being. So half of 83, I mean, it's like roughly 82. And then we'd make 40, there has to be 41 steam engines per side. We have 42. So not too bad. 
actually it's it's probably exactly right it's exactly where we want it to be so now what we need to do is we need to copy this and put it on the other side um i guess i could just blueprint it uh, I, don't, I don't know if this will like work out beautifully but we'll see just uh do something like this so we're gonna remove the grabbers here. We're gonna remove those. I know this is small as shit though. Um, fuck it, we'll fix the rest of it in a bit. All right. Oh my God. That's fucking insane. All right. It actually worked out. Look at that. Am I in the way or something? What's okay? So something is blocking something. Uh oh, I I, I see. It's it's complaining about the light there. I, I I just I wanna I wanna see if we can get it like working perfectly. So let's just uh, remove this light here. Uh, and I, I saw like a speaker somewhere. Is it right here? What is that? Click to remove. Okay, we'll just say that. All right, let's try and do this one again. Uh, it's is it complaining about the 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 way the heat pipes are? Yeah, it is actually. I think no, it's actually perfectly fine with this. Let me just make sure that the this is insane. I'm a fucking bad man. All right, so this is uh, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna pick them all up so they recharge instantly, I like that, uh, because we have now not a good power supply for this. But if, as like I said, the little abuse of me picking things up uh, is is wonderful. And this is what this is the great thing about symmetry. Symmetry is pretty pretty fucking great. What are we missing right now? We're missing pipes and some other stuff. So uh, things are looking pretty good. So we'll go get some more pipes, because we're going to need them. And my car's down there somewhere, so we don't have to worry. So yeah, we need we need more pipes and stuff. So, and that's um, that's going to be our... Uh, yeah, we put down all the steam turbines already. Holy shit. It's a, it's a thing of beauty, let me tell you. Uh, Alright, and it said one or more uh, these things, so... Uh, I did have a... I did have something making like a stack of this at all times, so I can just grab that. Just make. I'm just gonna make a crap ton of storage tanks, because the storage tanks are very nice. Uh, I don't see a reason not to have storage tanks, honestly. All right, so I'm gonna head back here, and we're gonna chillax. We, we need to add some more water to it. Uh, okay, I don't know what the hell the deal with this is. I think I originally had this like over here, and obviously that's not powered anymore. So maybe we should go fix that. Okay, I didn't realize that was such an integral part of my system here. All right. So these are currently not making any steam, but it's because they're not getting any water. Okay, what's, what are you missing here? You're missing a engine unit. You need more storage tanks. So luckily, we, as I said, we built it beside the water, so we'd have like easy, easy access to water. So we probably don't need to do this with the steam tanks or whatever, but yeah, we're doing it anyways, fuck it. All right, one, two, three. All right, this looks pretty good. Looks pretty damn good, all right. So I have three more offshore pumps. Uh, we'll bring those over. Simple stuff. Uh, do something like that, I guess. Kind of bring it a little bit over here. Really fucking cool how this just kind of works out. I love this shit. Actually, this can be a little bit more over here, actually. 
Unless it collides. No, it does not collide with the steam. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, okay, so I may have uh, uh, done an incorrect estimation here slightly, and I instead put 84 um, steam turbines. Uh, actually, no, no, that's perfect. Sorry, it's 83, and so I have one more in there than I should, but that's okay, because uh, shh, don't tell anybody. So that's how we're going to have this work. All right, so it's going to put the excess steam inside of these these things. I think that maybe I shouldn't actually make it a one-way thing, so we're gonna actually remove some of these pumps. Because we're gonna just store the steam and the steam will just be available, I guess. Uh, I guess I guess we kinda don't need this to be hooked up like that. At least not on this side. Like, look how fucking fast these are now. It's so good. I love I love them so much. This bot, this this game is actually a love letter to bots. That's, that's what it is. All right, same deal here. We will have one-way pumps eventually, but uh, we don't actually need steam for that all that much stuff. So having it in the network is fine. The, the only reason I wanted it to be one way before was because I hooked up steam engines to the other side, right? And now now I don't do that anymore. So now it doesn't make any sense to do this. I mean, they're kind of hooked up to begin with, so it's all good. All right, we are done. Uh, so we now, so if you're wondering what my power capacity is now, it's 480 uh, me uh, megawatts. This should last me until I win the game. Unfortunately, this does mean though, I've now kicked up the amount of, uh, I, I, I'm gonna be using more uranium and stuff now, unfortunately, but yeah. You can already see it kind of went through a little bit more, but it's fine. Uh, is this steel chest? Yeah, there. So, yeah, it's, it is getting rid of all of it, but we can add even more to this. By the way, this, this is what you do, like, I, 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 you, you think I'm being a meme lord or something, but I'm really not. Like, it, it's just, it, this is how much it requires for, like, like, we have no use for this uranium. I mean, you can do, as I said, we got, we got the enrichment process that we can do a little bit later, which is, um, it's this thing. You basically take uh, 40 uranium-235 and it creates 41 uranium-235 at the cost of some uranium-238. Uh, this is something that's very late game. Look at that, look at that high-tech science. Holy shit. Like, it's too much. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, coal liquefaction is maybe something we want to do, but I think I want to get up to assembly machine threes right now. I think I want to start getting that coming down the lines. So those are nice. Uh, this is just this is just research. So actually, we do not have the production science to. Sorry, we don't have the coal for this, so we actually shouldn't do that. But we can do like things like stack inserter bonuses. We'll do that. Well, well, okay. I'm I'm avoiding purple science for now, just because we don't have the steel. Uh, we simply do not. All right. Let me, how the fuck do I get out of this disaster? All right. Go over here somewhere. Where's my car at? Car's down there. All right. So this is, uh, yeah, as I said, 480 megawatts now, uh, and I can hook up more lines. This, oh shit, that looks so nice. Oh fucking shit. Oh no, wait, there's no light over here. All right, we gotta fix that. It's important to me. Fuck, how do I get, how do I make it over here anymore? I think I can't run between these anymore. I gotta like run up the fucking other place, whatever. Actually, I, I still have one more pump here. And actually I have pumps everywhere. I may not have removed them all. Uh, we got rid of that one. Okay, we got rid of those ones. Okay, never mind. Got rid of enough of them. There you go. Oh man, that looks that looks beautiful. I don't know why I have a light here though. When did that appear? All right. Is it a part of the network now? No, it's not. I actually disconnected it. This is, this is how you have your power uh, output in one easy step. <laughs> Fucking hell. Maybe we'll add like another power pull here just for redundancy's sake. Uh, okay, so. Is that water in there? Why is there no water? Oh. Ignore that too. 
Okay, let's just make sure that water is... It's a good thing I look at this stuff before we, like, you know, we, we fuck off and do our own thing. Because, like, there's going to be, like, a power output issue at some point if, if I don't do that. So, yeah, this... Okay, so this is 480 megawatts, so now we, now we don't care. Alright, so before we end the episode, um... I don't know how long I've taken, but it's probably been a while. I want to make the, the furnaces. Um, I've been, uh, this has been a long time in the making. Uh, I need to do it. Now, I did ha I did make a box somewhere here to put excess furnaces into, right here. Uh, as you can see, that box is completely empty. It's completely monopolized by uh, production research, so that doesn't really work. Uh, so instead, we're going to do it my way, which is just to like make it yourself. Eventually, when we get enough steel coming down the line, it'll be fine. Uh, I, I've been, so how many how many do I have right now? Because this isn't enough. This is uh, one, two. This is um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. And my furnace lines are right now. This is like twenty of them. So um, we're gonna make a line of twenty furnaces for for uh, steel production. I think. That's how we're going to do this. Unfortunately, steel upping our steel production requires more steel, so... Uh, that's a bit of a conundrum, I guess. Alright, so we need two more, and then we're good to go. Whoops, I, I, no, I don't want one of these fucking garbage... Actually, I, I, I kept these with me just because I want to show you, but... Uh, uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to destroy them. So that's how many furnaces were here before. Actually, there's more furnaces to destroy, so we should wait. Actually, we'll just we'll just put in this box for now. This is my uh, this is the death box. So uh, that's where we kill stuff. That's where we retire all things. All right, so that's good. Uh, do I need any more? I probably need some more poles. Let me go get those and lights. Okay, that's good. And we'll get some more poles. So. Uh, we don't need to put the steel anywhere ridiculous. Um, we'll just probably put it under here or something. Which means that I kind of, this balancer you see, I probably should have put it down there somewhere. But I didn't do that, so whatever. Alright, so where is it? Oh, there you go. It's good old... Fuck, this stuff's in the way now. Oh well. Alright, so this is very simple. We just kind of do this. And now they're gonna fucking go ham. Hopefully we have enough, uh, yeah, I think we have enough for belts for this. We're gonna need more of those, though. I do want to upgrade my power capacity, though. We're, we're, we're gonna just, we're just gonna eat them all up. Because, uh, reasons. Well, it's just, it's, it's, that, that way they're not consuming the power in my armor, so, I mean... Oh, we could do that anyways. What's missing right now? We actually didn't have enough furnaces. Oh, I only made 20, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, it is, it's 40. Fucking hell. Okay, so we need we need twice the amount of furnaces that I actually had intended to put down. I mean, that's life, though. Sometimes we need a shit ton of uh, steel. But you can see why I, I said to myself that we were we were going to need that. All right, where's my car? Because I put stone brick in there. Well, it would have been nice to have the the car do something else, but whatever. Uh, there you go. Just put some coal and crap in there. Actually, we don't need heat pipes anymore. Definitely way past that. Definitely don't need this copper either. I don't think we're going to be doing any more nuclear reactor creation, by the way. Like, that's actually it. There's really no more. Um, I mean, I mean, if we ever get to the point where we need more than 480 megawatts, um, that'll be the day. But uh, until that day comes, uh, I don't know, man. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that we can run most of, like, if we have, like, burst issues with lasers... We can just, like, add more lines to that. Look at that, fucking 120 megawatts, dude. What the fuck, dude? That's fine. Because the good old the trains will keep going. The, we have 1.3 million uranium, and we still have 207 uh, uranium 235. So, uh, but like I said, if, if, 
if that chest runs out, we literally lose. Like, like not not even bullshitting you right now. All right, so I'm gonna move this balancer down, but that's gonna be after I, um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll do that now. All right, so the reason we're moving the balancer down is because I actually would like. I don't know. Okay, let's just, uh... So, we're cutting power to the factory just temporarily. I'm oh, sorry, not power, but cutting everything. Alright, where's the balancers? Interesting how these work, though. Unfortunately, it's still using the, the old ones. Actually, shit. I just, uh, I did not do this right. What? Really? Oh. There you go. We're doing it over here so I can cut, I can take shit off the line, uh, much sooner. Uh, did I? Yeah, I added splitters to the end. I'm not sure why I did that, but um, I know better than to question myself. All right, so we're gonna do yeah. So these are gonna just finish up whatever it needs to. I know there's barrels here, but I don't care. All right, so we're done with that. So one of these lines we will now divert down there. Wrong way. All right, so, and then now we need to power this. Uh, which is a whole separate issue, but yeah. All right, and it will go up instead. I have it right now trying to go the other direction, but yeah. Uh huh. I'll just do something like that. All right. So, as you can see, we no longer need this. Uh, where is our steel line? It's right there. So I somehow have to bring this into there. I mean, it's a simple way of handling that would be actually because I, I I am removing this this line anyway, so I don't really care what happens to it. Uh, let's see here. Guess we'll just kind of, uh... I don't know why... Oh, that's right, we don't need coal here anymore. Actually, we do need coal there. But for different reasons. Uh, so we're probably gonna also red belt the line over here as well. I haven't quite decided how that's going to happen, but yeah, that's, that's another line. Remember, I, like, because of that, because of that balancer, it'll actually, like, it'll actually automatically, uh, make sure everything's, like, good. Alright, so I'm going to just remove this from the line, because I wanted to just get rid of everything here. So it, it should automatically divide... Uh, things accordingly, so that's why we're doing this though. Alright, so because we now did this guy, let's see how, okay, I don't know how far it makes it down there because unfortunately we're not making steel fast enough. Or sorry, we're making it too fast, I mean. Not fast enough. Alright, so bring the steel up. Uh, so do something funky with this. So we actually do need the coal for the chemical plant there. Um, I haven't quite decided how it's going to work out though. Because uh, that's... I, I, I did kind of make it on that side and I, I don't regret it at all. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll just continue to... All 
All right. So this is ideally going to be a basically a full belt worth of uh, steel, but we'll see. All right, well, we have now a lot of garbage, so let's, uh, let's get rid of some of it. Like, like now we have like an absolute abundance of resources. I am, I am one happy, happy guy. Let me tell you. All right, so we no longer need a line, uh, a, a line for this. Did I? Yeah, there it is. That's the line. That, this is the line I, I was concerned about. But apparently, I, there's no need to be concerned about it. So we're, we're gonna have some major issues here. All right, so. This line takes iron just for uh, just for a bit of the microchips, and it doesn't actually need that much. So no longer concerned about that at all. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of steel making right there. So I mean, it's it's difficult right now to tell where problems may be arising because I, I simply I don't know. All right, so we're gonna just. Um, Maybe let this stuff finish, I don't know. I guess it's just gonna finish up. Cause yeah, we need to still bring the coal over there. I'm not sure if there's a better way to bring the, I mean, I have the coal here, and I, the ideal case would actually be to bring that somehow around, but instead of going through the base like this, like 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 I'm dumb, but you know, I, th I think we're gonna go with the like I'm dumb situation. Uh, but yeah, we can now rip up the steel line, so yeah, I think it's done. All right, so goodbye, Steel. You'll be missed. Actually, not really. And now I debate to myself how to bring coal over here. So I'd like to leave some space down here, potentially, you know? So that's, um, that's a tough one. Because I, I said I had a nice system here. I mean, the gears probably could use being in the other direction, but I don't know. We, we actually, the thing is, this gear line is probably just, a, it's probably enough anyways. Uh, okay, so apparently the factory needed that. Fuck, I can't see why it's running out power. Maybe we'll just add a, okay, we can't add anything anywhere. Destroy my life. Why why is there something that requires power here? There we go. Okay, that kind of works. It would have been smarter to do something like uh, have like a one line of power coming on the side. We could probably still do that and then like if like different things. Can I insert coal? Player's inventory is full. Well where is the car at? Alright, let's go to the car then. Car has something to say about that. All right, that's that's good. All right, so we have a shit ton of coal in here. That's okay. And that's it. We've pretty much just upgraded everything. Um, uh, unfortunately, this now needs coal. Uh, we probably are going to need more plastics, anyways. But yeah. Uh, now, now I wonder to myself if I'm able to bring the coal over. Yeah, I think I think what I did here is actually probably the best thing, even though it's not the best thing. Okay. It's the best thing, even though it's not the best thing. That's uh, we're just to live by. And then I have it kind of going in here, although it's probably not great like this either. Ah, we could probably do a better job with this guy as well. I we we're gonna we're gonna up our pl plastic production just because we're fake. No, I'm joking. But uh, we're gonna do something like over here. So. All right, that's that's okay. 
Fortunately, I do need to bring it down a bit more. I don't think I can do that, actually. Because the thing I also wanted to do was uh, replicate the exact same thing on the other side. Um, how I'm going to do that, I don't really know. Okay, what are you having an issue with? Oh, you don't have anything grabbing coal for you now. Do I have to do everything? Jeez. There you go. Well, let's see if we can bring them down somehow. I mean, actually, it is pretty simple to do. Actually, I just, I just, it occurred to me that this is actually placing red chips onto here. That's okay. All right, not too, not too shabby. And we're gonna go make a splitter right here because I made this all nice. And it's going to work the same principle as before. This is kind of just doubling our, our production straight up of coal. It's good. That's actually kind of nice. There you go. Two lines of... Uh, yeah, that's, oh, that's basically almost a complete yellow belt. Right there. Of plastic. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's a little bit of a maze here, but it's okay. So, uh, okay, so we've done pretty much everything I've wanted to do. Um, I think that this stack inserter capacity is going much slower than I anticipated it would. Um, hey, and guess what? This isn't actually enough uh, steel. So, I how many more? I bought 24 steel things, so that's... I basically replaced it, but it can actually stand to be twice as long. Look at that. Because when it gets down to there, it's not even fucking done yet. Jeez. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to make another tw uh, 40 steam furnaces or whatever the fuck. Uh, sorry, whatever electric furnaces. Aren't you glad I made it nuclear? So that's what I'm going to do for next time. I'm just going to... Um, I'm probably going to split this line and make another steel line. But probably like right here, actually. I'll just remove these barrels. I'll just... You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Okay, first off, you know what? Uh, this is this is gonna be the send off. All right, first off, goodbye, you fuckers. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, those things. Twenty two bots. And you know what? You know what? Fuck these things too. I I I'm so mad at the flu the new fluid dynamics. Okay, maybe maybe not that. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bots. Fuck. What do I do to get rid of these? Fuck, I gotta make like another chest like over here somewhere. This sucks. It's karma. I swear it's karma. Fuck, let's get some more chests. Yeah, these are actually the good. Yeah, no wonder they didn't blow up. Alright, alright, let's try this again. Yeah, you're not repairing anything, are you fuckers? You're not fast enough yet. All right, that's it. We've dealt with our steel barrels. I'm not. I'm probably not using steel barrels again. All right, because I, I attempted it. It wasn't good. So, uh, yeah. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and tuning in. And uh, I'm gonna do some changes to the system here. I think. I think the fact that this has to curve in uh, actually kind of just triggers the fuck out of me. So we're gonna change that too. So goodbye.